YouTube, it's Amy. I just wanted to make a quick update video. Um, this is my last video for a while until things get better for me because I can't stand making these kind of videos. But um, between coming home for the meet and greet, I um, got bit by a poisonous spider. And I still feel a little drunk. Um, I felt like somebody had drugged me or poisoned me. Um, I was going to faint. I felt nauseous. And I kind of have like a feeling that everything is moving around me. And I'm staying still. On uh, Tuesday, I went to go over and see my dad. And he looks like shit. He's got no hair. He's shaking like crazy. He doesn't want to sleep because he's afraid he's going to bite his tongue off. He won't eat anything. He's lost about 20 pounds since he started the chemo. Definitely does not look like the same person that went into chemo completely fine. His blood work looks good, but... His nerves and eating and taste and nauseousness is just making him absolutely miserable. While I was over at my parents' house, um, getting some groceries and stuff for them, I get a phone call from my husband that his 37-year-old uh, autistic brother that was just here three weeks ago dropped dead in his bathroom on Tuesday morning. They, they did the autopsy, but we haven't gotten a report yet. Keith was very close to his brother. He was the protector of his brother. He's pretty heartbroken. We don't know why. And he goes to a, he, he used to go to a day program every day and he has the upstairs of their house to themselves, his bedroom and a connecting bathroom, and he didn't come down at his normal time. He's always very on schedule. He's very OCD. So mom went upstairs to look for him and found him dead on the bathroom floor. I don't I don't understand. He's completely healthy. I don't understand why these things can happen, why why he would be taken from us. He he touched a lot of people's lives. Um, he was a forever child, a very smart one. He can make you laugh. He was very care carefree. Um, very similar to my hazel and it scares me to death to know you know that there possibly could have been something wrong that he could have shared with us but we were unable to save his life my husband hopped on a plane today to go out there for to put his uh his brother in the ground in connecticut i'm not sure when he's coming home so um I'm not going to have the opportunity to run much this week, and I do have a half marathon next week. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do with that. Still feeling pretty crappy from the bug bite on the back of my neck. I'm pretty darn depressed that my brother-in-law is dead. So, yeah, I'm not going to make a video until I have something positive to say. I love you guys. Thank you. Bye.